Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Bootstrap 5 full tutorial series. In today's episode, we will continue to focus on building some live real-time examples to give you confidence on the grids and the layouts. We have done two live projects earlier in the earlier episodes. I hope you are getting confidence in building grids and the layout. This is Bootstrap 5 full tutorial playlist. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. I have planned around 40 hands-on tutorials for you on Bootstrap 5. So like I said, we are continuing to learn grids by doing live project. If you haven't checked out the previous two live projects, please do check out so that you gain confidence and knowledge in building your own grids and templates. All right, so just a quick recap and touch base on what group Bootstrap Grid is so that we can um, recap and maybe implement it better. So Bootstrap Grid allows us to 12 columns in a particular row. The grid is made up of rows and columns and we can split the columns in any number that we want. We can make it either a 3, 3, 3 or 4 and 8, 6 and 6 or single row with 12 columns. So we have seen all of this. If you want a quick recap, please refer to the previous episodes. So we have we have in the first uh, example live project, we built the IBM's column layout, which is this particular screen. In the next uh, live example, I have developed and designed this particular template, which is from Cosmos Marketplace. Today, we will learn how to create footer, right? Uh, which is basically from apple.com, right? So Apple has this um, footer which is used and we'll learn how to build something similar or maybe close to similar, right? So let's get started. Uh, if you have any doubts, just let me know in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you. So I'm in the Bootstrap 5 folder. I will go ahead and create a new file here and I will name it as footer.exam.html, right? You can give any name that you want and the best way to do is to um, go to the bootstrap documentation go to docs and under docs you would see the first thing as starter template this is nothing but an empty shell i'll just copy it as it is and paste it here right now let's see that here we'll in explorer and then open with chrome so we have the hello world right it doesn't have any meat um, it's just empty uh, it's just have a hello world so let's refactor this and I'm going to remove that hello world and first we will need a container right if you want to design fixed layout you'll use container if you want to use fluid layout you'll use container fluid I'll show you both examples in just a bit then we need a row which will hold all the footer tabs then we will need columns right so first I'm going to show you with a default column size of 3 right so let me call it footer 1 tab one this is I'll copy it three more times so it will become 12 column layout so see three 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 it will become 12 so the, it is occupying 12 columns in your row right now let's save it and go back and refresh so now we see there are four equal divisions right now what we'll do we will go ahead and take a simple list right um, instead of typing there's a lot of tools and code available in bootstrap you just want to know how to use it effectively right so what i'm going to do i'm going to paste the ul inside each of the footer like this okay now let's go ahead refresh our screen so now it looks like this and the layout we are trying to do is something similar right it's coming up like this we have one two three four five you can have again four or five you can divide it basically however we want now these are links so feel free to make these as a link right so you can add a link and or you can take a template from bootstrap documentation make them into a link right so this is blue color links right so if you want to change the link color you can always do that by adding a styling let's go here and add a style right I'm adding it in the right in the header but it's always a good practice to have a separate styling in your code right so let's add style and I'm saying wherever you find inside this wherever you find put color as 777 
or maybe little darker color three right and then go here and so you see it's now becoming black like just like this color and I'm going to say text decoration none right and refresh and you can see it's looking just like a link right so there is no really difference between these now similarly you can take a uh, breadcrumb because there is also one breadcrumb in apples layout so just copy so you see how simple it is how easy it is only if you know where to copy the code and where to use it it's only knowledge and that would really help you right so you have your footer link like this so now let's compare it with uh, what we have it here so you see we have the links here we have a breadcrumb right so something similar uh, you can have a he heading inside any particular link and maybe uh, make it bold right so we can achieve that also by adding a new um, say add a new list and don't link it but just make it a bold or something right so you can make it bold here and that's it let's go here and refresh so you can see it's coming like this so you can give any particular name that you want like shop and learn right so you can make it shop and learn right so go ahead uh, i'll leave this as an exercise to you um, now you see this is how easily you can achieve footer sections with clickable links heading with some layout of breadcrumb that you can use it in your templates so this is again just a quick recap of grid like you can use it in a row you can have multiple columns that you want to design and you can have any kind of content inside that particular grid columns i have shown you previously how to use cards this is an example where we are using a list group all right so that being said um, next episode onwards i will start focusing on the components which means I will cover bootstrap components like navbar, table, list, cards, everything in detail. Um, so, and we will also come up with some live examples every now and then where we will club these multiple components of bootstrap to make beautiful designs. I hope you're finding this particular series interesting. If you do hit like button, share, comment, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Your comments, feedback are always welcome. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next episode.